This is a true story that Corey told me while he was living in Malaysia. When my friend and I moved to Cebu, we were not expecting everything that would happen. When we arrived at the house during the nighttime, we toured each room before settling in. I noticed that each wall and door had a picture of Jesus on it. My roommate commented that the previous occupants of the house were his Christian friends trying to keep focus like Jesus is watching. But we ended up taking the pictures down and settling in for the night. Over the next few days, I started feeling like I was being watched. So I made curtains for the windows. And over the next few weeks, I started developing depression and feeling tired while I was inside of the house, but completely fine while I was outside of it. My friend also experienced mood swings and fatigue at the same time I was. We both decided that we would visit the previous occupants to see what the issue was, but never really brought it up in that first visit. That same night, we returned back to our house and we found that the gate was open, the house was unlocked, and our bikes were missing. I was very upset because the bike was my primary form of transportation, and at that point, getting a new bike was not financially possible. About a week later, we visited our friends again and I asked them about the pictures of Jesus on the wall and why they had moved out of the house after telling them what I had experienced. They looked at each other and began to explain that about a month before we came to Cebu while they lived in the house, one of them admitted that he mocked an altar at the historic Tua Pek Kong Temple in downtown Cebu. At some point after they arrived home from the temple, the one who mocked the altar became violent for no reason and they assumed he was possessed. The other friend held him down and claims that his eyes were jet black. Eventually the friend calmed down and they called the church to have an exorcism performed on him. They placed pictures of Jesus on each wall afterwards and the vengeful spirit seemed to be gone and they moved out hoping it would never be in their life again. After that story, we returned back to the house knowing unfortunately that what we were dealing with we couldn't see. Although I had my friend, I felt lonely and afraid that it would attack me like it did to the temple mocker. Thankfully, after a couple of days, I got a recommendation from a place in Puchang, Kuala Lumpur that I could move there. It was perfect because we would be gone and out of this godforsaken house, and also because I could take the train anywhere since my bike was stolen. <laughs> me and my friend ended up leaving but we left the house without knowing how to truly appease the spirit. So I really hoped the next residents wouldn't have the same experience that we did. If you want to hear more stories like this, let us know in the comments and give us a subscribe. Thanks for watching.